All right, Plane in January. Seriously, guys, could you not have come up with a better title for this movie? But we're not judging the film on the title. We're going to judge the movie for the movie. So how was it? Let's talk about it. My name is Brandon Kedavery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? And welcome back to another episode of Just My Opinion for my review for Plane. <laughs> and if this is your first time finding me and you happen to like the video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. All right, guys, so now we have Plane, the third film that is hitting the theaters this 2023. It is rated R coming in at one hour and 47 minutes, being described as an action thriller. Now, a number of years ago before the pandemic hit, a lot of people call January the toilet bowl season for films. Everything that came out in January at the beginning of the year just wasn't that great. And when you look at a movie like this called Plane, especially with the title being super duper generic, it seemed like it would be just another forgettable January movie that no one will remember in the few months to come. However, the trailer did look good, especially because it does have Gerard Butler and Mr. Mike Coulter. I am a big fan of both of these gentlemen. I don't think I've seen anything that they've been in that I've been disappointed in. Of course, we know Gerard Butler from 300. That's when he popped on the scene for me and mostly everybody. And also Mike Coulter, he's been in a number of things, but of course he was Luke Cage in the Netflix Marvel series. Now, I had mild expectations for this just because I am a fan of the actors, but I was hoping for the best because like I said, the trailer was great. Now, this is being directed by Mr. Jean Francis Riche, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, please forgive me, but this is a French director, writer, and editor, and I've never heard of him before until I saw this film, but if we scroll down just to look at this filmography, here are a number of films that he did in the past. So let me know down in the comments section if you are familiar with any of his work. But having my own expectations, but still liking the cast, I really wasn't sure what we was going to get. So before I talk about all the nitty gritty, before I get into all my likes and dislikes, let me tell you exactly what this film playing is all about. A pilot finds himself caught in a war zone after he is forced to land his commercial aircraft during a terrible storm. All right, so the first thing that I loved about this movie is everything. <laughs> yes, everything, guys. I love this movie. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was phenomenal. And I'm just so shocked on how good it was. In my fresh out of the theater reaction, I actually said that in my video, I was like, guys, it does not make sense how good this movie is. And like, it just came out of nowhere. Like, I just really did not expect this. And so the director, this French guy right here, Jean, Man, you did a great job, sir. You did a great job. But let's get into why it is so good. The first thing is Gerard Butler. He steals the show in this movie. He is the lead. He is the man. And he is doing his thing. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to take charge. He is a leader. And this shows all throughout this film from beginning to end. At the very beginning, he is a pilot, of course. He is the one flying the plane. And I love the relationship that he has with his daughter. You can really tell that he's not the perfect father, but he is a good father. And he also is hardworking. I also like that he knows this stuff. You can tell that he's very, very educated, has great social skills, and he is very, very charming, especially when it comes to the flight staff. They have a great relationship, and I like all of his mannerisms and body language and all that good stuff. He knows how to talk to people. He knows how to relate to people. Like I said, he has great social skills. He also has a great sense of humor. He knows how to throw a little joke out there at the right time just to soothe out a tense moment. That is very, very important given his line of work and he kind of knocks that aspect out the park. Now we also have Mike Coulter in this film and he is just as good, if not better than Mr. Gerard Butler. His name in the film is Louis Gaspar and he did a great job as well, but he is the complete total opposite from Gerard Butler's character. While Gerard Butler is more outgoing and a people person, Mr. Mike Coulter over here, Mr. Lewis is very reserved, very quiet and just kind of keeping to himself. That is written within the story, within his character, because, you know, he is an inmate being transported from one prison to another. But at the same time, this is a big black strong man that uses his brain that knows how to defend himself and beat ass when it's necessary and all he wants to do is just to be left the hell alone and my goodness gracious i can relate to him 100 percent there and i loved his character too 
And even at the very beginning of this film, the first act is its own separate movie in itself, and I loved it. It does remind you of that film Turbulence that came out in the 90s, also kind of like Air Force One or anytime a plane is going down or being taken hostage. It has all those vibes right there. But what I really love about it is there was no sound effects for the most part at the very beginning of this film. When they're going through the storm and when you see it from the trailers, you know that they either crashed their plane or they had to land on some random island because they're having plane troubles. During that time, like I said, there's no music, there's no soundtrack, there's no score. It's just a large cone of silence. And all you hear are all the clicks and the clacks and the alarms going off in the plane. You hear the performers, the actors, adjusting and shifting their weight, breathing heavily, panting back and forth in a nervous panic, not knowing if they're going to survive. You can hear the luggage being flung back and forth throughout different parts of the plane. All of these sound effects with no music, it really does give you that nice edge of your seat tension that you go to the theater to see and they knocked that out of the park as well i absolutely love that and that is a brilliant way of filmmaking right there and also when it comes to the whole cast like the passengers and everybody you love all of them as well there is really nobody annoying in this movie and when it comes to the cast i liked all of them they work well together as a group as a unit and that is very very refreshing there is not one character in this film that i thought made a poor decision or was being idiotic or moronic or were just doing something stupid to help flesh out the plot. No, no one is doing that. And everybody is kind of reacting differently because they're in a hellish situation and you can kind of understand, but they all do what they need to do when the time comes. And I love that about everybody. There's also little sprinkles of comedy in there as well, just to release the tension a bit and I love those transitions back and forth again it's a great way to tell the story and when it comes to the action it is fantastic not only because it's just great action but the way that it's filmed as well when Mike Coulter's character and Gerard Buller's character is navigating through the island trying to seize the day and beat the bad guys I love what they did with the camera sometimes it's really close up on their face and there's a lot of long shots to where the actor will go back to the background go through a wall or door while the camera doesn't break and then come back into the foreground and that was seamless i really did like that it was a great way to get you in the action kind of make you feel like you was there and also there's different types of action you have hand to hand fighting and you also have gunplay firefights as well and all of that is done in the best way as possible especially that hand to hand and that is my favorite type of fighting right there i mean i like weapons too but hand to hand you just got to really get in there into that nitty-gritty if you know what i'm talking about and there's long shots as well the camera is zooming in and zooming out without it breaking and that really does intensify things i also had no idea how this film was going to end either it could have ended in so many ways but as this conclusion you're clapping and you're cheering and you're just yelling out loud because you're so happy with all the events that are going down and this is some of the best gunplay that i've seen in a while not the best but it is great and i like the way it was executed as well this film right here reminded me of my childhood of me playing in the backyard with my friends whatever you want to call the game search and rescue guns and robbers we got to save the day whatever i mean it was just like go 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 we got to save the princess go do do cover me oh the explosion bombs all of that was all in this movie and you're just kind of like watching it like yeah yeah duck dodge you know like i really had a great time with this movie and i know you will too i mean like it is a ton of fun and i just want to talk about the rest of the cast a little bit besides gerard butler and mike coulter you also have this sister bonnie Danella pinata if i'm pronouncing her name correctly we also have tony goldwin i remember him from the show on oh what is it called again with your girl Kerry washington I was going to say Snapchat. That is not the name of the show. I uh, oh, It starts with an S. I can't remember right now off the top of my head. But we also have Paul, Ben, Victor. All of them do such a great job. I loved all of them in this movie. Scandal is the name of the show. Scandal, Scandal, Scandal. I forgot. Yes, Scandal. You know what I'm talking about. But guys, I would transition to some things over that I really didn't like in the film, but that's non-existent. There's nothing that I did not like in this film. Like, I liked everything about it. I really, really did. I have no complaints whatsoever. When the film was ending and I was walking out, I was going to say to myself, you know, oh, let me get my rating for this at the very end of the video. But for now, guys, that is just my opinion. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give me the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe to my channel, you're going to get 
movie reviews. You're going to get series reviews. You're going to get spoilers reviews. All this right here, a weekly movie news roundup show, trailer reactions, and also some interviews as well. I did participate in the roundtable interview with Afka to talk about House Party, that remake. Those are on my channel right now as well if you want to go check that out, as well as the review for the film and also a review with Tyra with Struggle Reviews TV for the original 1990 classic film. So check all of that out. Also, my top 10 most anticipated films of 2023. But if I had to rate Plane out of a 1 out of 10, when I was walking out of the theater, I was going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. But guys... Seriously, with me having no complaints and being blown away by this movie and how good it is, I'm going to give it a perfect score. I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10. Yes, a 10 out of 10. This movie is that good. I would not mind paying for this again to go see it in theaters because I enjoyed it that well. And I will be buying this on 4K when it comes out, when it's available, because I do want to add it to my collection. And the director again, Jean Francis Richet. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I doubt it. Great job, great job, great job. But guys, again, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.